This will be part two of our very basic introduction to the AR-15. In our first look, we made sure that it was empty and safe, and then we took a look at its very basic components. Uh, I didn't want to make that video too long, so let's dig into a little bit more depth on it. So first off, we've removed the magazine, we've showed that it's cleared. Now, let's take it apart. First off, let's take off the sling, because it's an act an accessory. Uh, this one happens to use quick detach sling swivels, so we can push the buttons, which release with ball bearings, the sling. Slings are good for carrying it, and also for shooting, so very handy accessory. Let's talk quickly about the bag. The bag represents something to carry it to the range in, something to keep it discreet so that neighbors who may be not familiar with firearms don't get too concerned about you know, this walking out to the car. You want to have magazines and ammunition, obviously necessary for running a firearm. Now let's get back to taking it down. So we've got two pins on an AR-15, one in the back here and one in the front and those are what holds the top part, the receiver, to the lower receiver here. And we just push in on the rear pin and when it is pulled all the way through it's retained so it's not going to be, it's not going to fall out. You can see that it hinges on that front pin. Next we're going to pinch the latch on the charging handle and slowly pull back the bolt now I'm going to pull just the bolt out, or the bolt carrier out, and we'll set that down. Now the charging handle is going to drop out, and that's about basically as much as you're going to take it apart for cleaning. We can now see down through the chamber and through the barrel. We can see the trigger group in the lower receiver. We can see that there's a well there's a screw here that holds the the pistol grip in place. There's a nut that holds on the receiver extension. The stock slides on the receiver extension and has different adjustment. This can be removed completely from the receiver extension or the buffer tube. Inside this tube rides a piece of metal called the buffer. This piece of metal called the buffer and a spring that extends all the way back through the tube. It's retained with a small pin. We can see the inside of the magazine well. We can see how the rounds are going to feed up into the chamber. We can see the lugs on the chamber there where it's going to receive the bolt. We can see its dust cover and its forward assist. A little closer look at the bolt carrier, the notches for that forward assist. Inside we have a bolt and I'm not going to disassemble this but this comes apart for cleaning and then you've got that charging handle that comes up and rides the carrier. Let's quickly put it back together. First the charging handle is set in place. The bolt comes up into the charging handle and then down into the receiver. It all snaps into place. Comes back the pin is pushed back through. Magazine would be inserted. And you're good to go. This particular one also has a scope mount and a scope. It has a free float handguard, which means it's attached only back here where the handguard touches the upper receiver. And then the barrel rides cleanly inside of it. We can see that the barrel does not touch the handguard at all, except for way back here. We see that it has a short, stippled uh, forward grip used for the uh, rifle isosceles type of shooting. 
you can see that it has a flip up front sight as a backup to the optic as well as a flip up rear we've also got a light, a light mount integrated into the body of the light for shooting at night this one happens to have a muzzle brake that would accept a surefire suppressor so this one's got a lot of bells and whistles but of course there's lots of different ways to put together an AR-15 so this is a little bit more depth into the basics of the AR-15 and how it works. Don't stop here. There's lots of other resources available. Check out YouTube videos. Check out websites. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.